Welcome back to the Learn to Monetize More video series. I'm Megan and today we'll help further cultivate your mastery of DFP by teaching you how to create a Google AdSense order. The fundamental means of monitoring inventory in DFP is through ad units. In this video, we'll teach you how to create an AdSense order with the corresponding ad units through the DFP interface. We'll also discuss several ways for you to organize inventory, as well as discuss features and options available to you when creating AdSense order and units. Before we begin, let's define a few important terms. An order refers to the field in DFP where we label our ad network, advertiser, or ad trafficker. In other words, if company A wants to buy ad space on our site, our first step to setting them up is to create their order. In our case, AdSense will in fact define our order, as all subsequent line items within this order will pertain only to AdSense. A line item is next in the hierarchy. Line items break down the order's targeting. For example, we may want to vary our targeting and ad spend thresholds depending on a number of factors, including geography, age, ad unit size, etc. The targeting possibilities are endless, and each specific set of targeting criteria is controlled through line items. Now it's time to log into our DFP accounts. Once inside, click the New Order button. For our purposes, we're going to name our order as the following. Monetize More, AdSense Channel 5. Using this naming convention, we are identifying Monetize More as our domain, AdSense as our ad network, and Channel 5 as our channel. Next, we populate the Advertiser field with AdSense. We'll then scroll down to New Line Item and enter our first line item. Using a similar naming convention to the naming convention of the order, we'll name our line item the following. CH5, Monetize More, ATF, 728 by 90. Notice how we added ATF for above the fold and 728 by 90 to indicate the size. As mentioned in previous videos, feel free to use any naming convention you'd like. We simply encourage you to remain consistent. Under Inventory Sizes, go ahead and choose your size as 728 by 90. Next, check the box that says Allow Same Advertiser Exception. We recommend you always choose this option, otherwise you'll see a lot of unfilled impressions. Now, scroll down to Settings and select Type. When the drop-down menu appears, choose Price Priority. This priority means that AdSense wins impressions over other ad networks if it can beat the competing ad network's bid on a particular impression. That then brings us to the Start Time field, where we'll want to select Immediately. For End Time, choose Unlimited, and for the Limit field, select None. The next step is to select the Rate. This is minimum CPM that your ad inventory will show for. For instance, if you choose a rate of $1, AdSense will not compete for any impressions that fall under $1. This does not apply for all priorities, though it's important to set for price priority. Once you've entered the rate, click Set Value CPM, and this field will automatically populate with the rate that you had previously set. Next, we go to the Ad Targeting section, where we'll click Ad Units. Type the ad unit you're searching for in this field, making sure to select the correct one. Now click Include, and then click Save and Upload Creatives. Now select Third Party and paste the code there. You'll want to acquire this code from your AdSense account prior to conducting these steps. Again, it's best to double check that you have the code from the correct tag. Lastly, DFP should be able to recognize the tag as a Google tag and will display a green banner on the right to confirm this. In the Name field, go ahead and enter any name you choose. For simplicity, we'll name this 728 by 90. You'll then want to click Save, at which point you'll see a yellow banner displayed at the top that says, The Creative 728 by 90 has been created. If this is the first line item you create, you'll be asked to click Approve. As a best practice, we recommend to target one ad unit per line item to best optimize your inventory. Under the same order, you'll want to continue to create all your items for AdSense. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time!